everybody, today we're going to be making risotto. Okay, so let's get cracking. We need a thick base pan because Le Creuset is a very good brand to, to use. And then what do we have? So tell me so, what we've got here. We have some rice. Some arborio risotto rice. We have some mushrooms. Mushrooms, washed mushrooms. These are wild mushrooms and these are normal mushrooms. These are forest here and these are normal button mushrooms. And then we also got some onion. Onion and garlic. And garlic. Then we got some asparagus. And then we got some stock. Yeah. And we've got some butter. Butter. Yeah. And parmesan cheese. For about 400 grams of rice, we need about one and a half liters of water. And this is a very versatile, easy dish to make. I'm going to be making two types of risotto. One for the adults and one for the children. In with the stock. About one and a half litres of water. Sit on the side. And you're going to use that later when you cook your risotto. A good helping of butter. And a little bit of olive oil in there. Just chop up our onion. There you go. We're going to give this a good chop. Putting my garlic in the pot. I'm mixing the garlic. Yes. And now I'm going to slice up our mushrooms. Wash your rice really well. Yeah. Now we're going to add some of our mushrooms in there. Can I add? Yeah, you can add. Season it with a bit of salt. Once that's all soaking up the onions and the garlic and the mushrooms. And now what I want to do is I just want to add half of that rice. We're going to use the other half for the kids. You want the rice to get hot, 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 and then soak up the juice. And that's what you want. And you start doing that very slowly. Our oh, risotto. Yeah. yeah. Put a good spoonful in there. That's it. Excellent. We're adding in the rice now. Yeah, put it in. Good. That's what you want to hear. Oh. I'm putting a bit of salt in there. And now we're going to put in the stock. That's what you want to hear. Keep on slowly adding the stock and stirring so the rice doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. Okay, two little additions that I'm going to be adding to the risotto. Well, our risotto with the mushrooms is going to be some lovely asparagus. And I'm going to cook that up for about three to four minutes. Asparagus, which I've just blanched off and they're perfectly cooked. You just split them in half and they'll be nice and tender. And they've cooked in the stock and they are really flavoursome, lovely. And you just want to add them to your risotto just before you finish cooking them. And in the kids, I will put in corn. So I pop the corn in there. The parmigiano, I'm going to grate the parmigiano. We're going to have lovely parmesan in our risotto. After about 25 minutes and adding all the stock, the rice is cooked through. A little bit of olive oil. A few minutes before serving, mix in your grated parmesan cheese and your freshly cooked asparagus. Just stir them in softly, so they become part of the dish. Looks amazing, yummy yummy yummy. There's our corn risotto. We're just adding some grated cheddar cheese. Plate it up, add a dollop of creme fraiche, some extra asparagus and some shaved parmesan cheese. And here you go, your wild mushroom with parmesan cheese and asparagus. 